In this session, as a student, you will learn how to enroll yourself into a course. Because when you're working in Mwele, you realize that there are a number of courses that have been placed in different colleges as we have set them up in Mwele. And many times when a course is available, the lecturers normally lock it with a password which we call an enrollment key, just to ensure that only the students who are meant to access the course materials should be the ones accessing the course materials. So when you look for the course in Mwele, you will need to have that enrollment key or course password given to you by the lecturer. So how do we enroll into the courses? First, you have to look for the course uh, in Mwele, and there are a number of options. You can use, click on colleges here, that college link, and you can use this uh, search box here to look for the course. If you know the course name and the course code, you can actually just search for this. For instance, one search for the course called 2016 here, effectively using the learning management system. So I type the course name and code in this search box, and then I will say go, and uh, it will bring up the course. Maybe there are not a number of them with similar names, so you have to particularly identify the course that you want. That's one option to use the search box to search for the course. And that's the one eventually I'll come and use. But the other option would be when you click on colleges, it brings up the list of your colleges here. So if you know the college where your course is placed, you will go to that college and, and, and the school, of course you have to know the school as well, uh, where that course is particularly located. And you need to know the department, or the institute that the college, uh, that the course rather, is located, and then you begin from there. You know to look for for your course. So in my case, my course is in the e-learning unit of the college. So I'll go college, education and external studies, e-learning unit, and then. I will find my courses listed here, my courses here, 2016, effectively using the learning management system. So those are two methods of actually looking for a course in Mwele. Either you use the search box, as I showed earlier, or you go college, school, department, until you're able to locate your course. So this is the course. And to know that a course is passworded with an enrollment key or a password, you'll see a key against it here, saying self-enrollment. The courses that are not locked usually do not have an, an enrollment key. So I want to enroll into this course. So I'll click on it to open it like that. And if it is passworded, I will not access it to tell me uh, the enrollment uh, options are there. And below here, it will tell me I need to supply an enrollment key for self-enrollment. Is also for guest access, but I'm interested in opening up the course using the self-enrollment enrollment key. As I said earlier, you need to have that key, that password. It's normally given to the students by the lecturers. So now because I know the enrollment key for this course, I'll type it in. You can see what I have typed, and then I'll click the word enroll. Okay, when I click on the word enroll, it has now given me access to this course. Now that enrollment key is a one-time only access key. You will not need it the next time you are you want to access that course, it will not ask you again for that password. It's a one-time only access key into your course. So when you come into the course like this, as a student, you will see the information that has been put there by the instructor. Welcome, the welcome message is given. So ensure that you read the instructions that are given. The course study guide is given there and it says click the hyperlink to download the course study guide. The course study guide normally guides uh, the students uh, on, on different aspects of, of, of your course. So you can usually uh, download your course study uh, guide for that matter. And then the course announcements, the, the, the 
will be instructions that the facilitator will always post the announcements or notices for the student in that section. So be mindful of it. In some courses, there will usually be a course discussion forum where the instructor will add topics to discuss that are related to the course that you're going through. Or sometimes you're also able to add a new discussion topic into the discussion forum so that you can discuss a number of things with your, with your colleagues in the course. And then you, you will go uh, you, unit by unit or module. Module one is the overview of Muele. The content is there. The learning outcomes are there. And you find module two is content, the learning outcomes. Module three has the content, the learning outcomes, the learning resources are included for module three. Then you have uh, for, for each module has a uh, detailed information. For example, if you go to module three here, when you open your module three, you will find the detailed uh, information uh, for your module uh, uh, three here. So module three, when you open it, you find you have uh, the details added using a page. So where you find a link, you open it and you're able to read the details of the information, detailed information in that particular uh, section, in that particular area. And the mini lecture here, creating a user account, that one is also added as a page. So there, there are a number of instructions, the discussion forum here, when you open it, you know, you're able to participate or engage in conversations and discussions about different issues regarding that topic. Uh, in some courses, probably an assignment space will have been added where you can upload an assignment if you've completed a certain activity. So that will also be added for you. Uh, and in another session, we'll be showing you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit an assignment uh, in courses where you're required to submit assignments. Some courses may also have uh, quizzes. A quizzes is an, uh, an, an online test, or it could be a practice test or an assessment test you know, that you complete and, and grades you automatically, you'll be able to see your mark. So that is a quiz. So those are the couple of things that you find um, in, in a course as you work through um, your course. So, so each course is unique. And usually when you have navigated through certain uh, items within your course and you want to go back to the front page, always remember to find the course code, where the course code is, and you click on it, it takes you to the front page of the course where you're able to see uh, all the modules or all the units that are available uh, in your course for that matter. So briefly, that's how you enroll yourself into a MOLE course. And also that's how you're able to navigate through the course and access the different uh, materials, activities or resources for assignments that have been added into the course by your teacher.